We're at the Global Soft Foundation's annual Special Air Warfare Symposium in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, talking with ATN, the manufacturer of sensors and night vision and thermal optics. Professor, can you tell us a little about some of the products you guys have here? Absolutely. Thank you very much. ATN Corp is a manufacturer of high-end, low-cost, state-of-the-art thermal imaging and night vision equipment. Uh, we started off in the mid-90s out of San Francisco, California. We've now evolved and are located out of Doral, Florida, near Southcom, and really known for our high-end, low-cost, again, state-of-the-art products, ranging from night vision equipment, dual-tube night vision goggles, to really state-of-the-art thermal imaging equipment that is really making a big difference within the industry, both on the commercial-wise and the military government side, uh, side of the house. Now, these aren't just um, pieces that are being used uh, here locally or even by the U.S. military. They're also being used overseas. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. We've had a great success over the last couple of years. In fact, dating back 10 or 15 years. In particular, within the last two years, we have shipped over 60,000 units to Ukraine. And that's quite remarkable when a small company such as ours can ship in that amount of time 60,000 units. And this, with all the supply chain problems and issues going on around the world and within the industry, this is something we're very proud of. And cost is a huge issue. So now, you do sell these, obviously, to government entities, like you just mentioned. But I guess someone could buy this on retail or commercial. Now, can you talk a bit about the price difference? Why you guys are able to do such a lower price on some of these things? Yeah, that's an excellent question. The reason why our products are very inexpensive is because we control the technology. So we don't have to go out and source it or relabel it and buy it from someone else. And when you uh, when you control the technology as such the way we do, then you also control the pricing. And then we pass on the savings both to the government, the end users, and on the commercial side to our commercial customers also. So if we have a couple other products out here. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about some of the specifics on what we're looking at here in front of us? Yeah, absolutely. And let's start off with this. This is a, we're very proud to be uh, introducing the TTM-18 Tactical Thermal Imaging Monocular. This will go in front of your scope, your daytime scope, to make your scope a thermal imager. It can be mounted onto a helmet or used as a handheld. It's equipped with a 640 by 480 resolution sensor. Really, it, the industry standard for something like a product like this is about sixteen dollars to $20,000. We will be coming in at less than half the price, and this is something we're really excited about in 2025 and beyond. Can you tell us about some of the entities that currently use some of your products in the U.S. military? Sure, absolutely. Uh, obviously, there's pockets of the U.S. government uh, within the military, military, uh, the U.S. Army, the Special Forces community, the U.S. Navy, the Marine Corps, and of course, a lot of the federal agencies and law enforcement alike. Now, we've got some new product out here that you've been showing, showcasing for us, but is there anything in the works um, coming up in the, in the coming years or in the coming months that we might see? Any sneak peeks? Sure. Anti-drone defense systems are something we're getting into. Just our technology is evolving and has evolved so much that it, you know the capabilities are enormous. So you're going to start seeing us not only in electro-optics from handheld devices to rifle-mounted and weapons-mounted systems, but also anti-drone defense systems. We have this system that goes on to RPGs and grenade launchers currently being used in theater right now in Ukraine. So it's a real exciting time for us. And we look at ourselves not just as a traditional night vision company, but we are with, with our roots and it's our in our bones being from the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, we are essentially a tech company. So we're no, no longer just an analog night vision, which is great, night vision is great, but it is analog technology. We have really evolved over the last five or 10 years into uh, really a, a company that's well known for its digital products, and that is the wave of the future. It's thermal imaging and digital day-night systems, also known as CMOS technology. One of the ways Reza kind of explains some of the technology is the legacy stuff is great, but it's kind of like having the iPhone 2 when you could have the iPhone 16. So That's exactly right. If that helps me make a better sense of it, I'll try to use it that way. Yeah. So learn about thermals and optics and different types of sensors and technologies, everything from drones to rifles to binoculars to monoculars to helmets. We've got a lot of optics information, sensor information going on right here. Yeah, it's ever evolving and it's getting better and better with each version that we're introducing. And being nimble, nimble and agile the way we are, we are introducing new products every year, which is quite exciting for us. Thank yeah. you for taking time to explain this. Of course. It is our pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.